Okay, I just got my new box in from uh, Tower Hobbies here, and it uh, should be my new Sparrowhawk. So let's open this up. I'll do an unboxing for you guys. This is just how they send it right from Tower Hobbies. Let me get back here a little bit. And there's the box. So let's uh, reach in here and pull this out. Let's see the side here. Okay, we have a brushless motor, a Ripper 3300KV, uh, looks like a very generic brushless motor speed control. This is the Sparrowhawk XXT, ready to run set. This box here. Sorry, I edit that out. This is what we have on the side of the box. So this is what the side looks like. There. There's the front. You see that? Yeah. Let's go ahead and pull the clips off the body. Okay, it's held on with these uh, cool little clippies that you can actually undo. Pretty impressive. Hard to get to though. That's pretty clever. I like that. All right, it comes just like this. Bam! Looks like it is ready to go. Let's take a look at what we got here. Ah, let's take a look at these shocks. Ah, got some hex hardware there. Look at this. They are true metal capped, metal, complete metal, not plastic, total metal. Plastic bodies, composite. Plastic shock towers. Looks pretty decently constructed. Oh, no hex head, it's all uh, Phillips heads. So it looks like uh, everything on the bottom is Phillips head as well. Phillips heads. Well, we have an exposed spur gear right there that's interesting so here's what it looks like from the bottom completely plastic chassis uh, here's the speed control it's got one of these Tamiya plugs that's going to be replaced with the Deans look at this here's the servo right here operates this long arm Let's see what kind of slop we have here Eh, not too bad. Seems pretty good. So we have the little tiny receiver right here. It does have a long wire. I don't really like that. So a tiny little receiver. Sure is small though. Look at that guy. Very generic looking motor. Interesting. Everything mounts back here. It does have this silicone cap right here. That's interesting. Probably helps uh, keep it dust out. Alright, here's the battery tray. Interesting. I don't know why they have this piece of foam right here. Looks like that's got to be removed. I don't know about that. We'll have to look at that. Uh, one cool thing I like about this model is it does come with a slipper clutch. Usually on these cheap models, you don't have a slipper clutch. I think it's extremely light. Very lightweight. Wow. Here's the rear. Oh, another point that I like right there is it does have a metal hinge brace in the back. And it uh, looks like, if you can see in there, it does have a metal hinge brace in the front as well. So that's pretty cool. The bumper is nothing. Don't like that. That's uh, not much protection right there. So try not to crash too much. Standard battery hold down. It's kind of at an angle. Hopefully that doesn't cause any problem with any batteries. Uh, let's see. It's got a t adjustable turn bucklers. How strong they are will have to be seen. Again, turn bucklers for the steering. And let's see. It says it's got CBD dog bones all the way around, so we'll have to see how those go. See if they bend after much abuse with the brushless on the track. 
and uh, this one's already getting in the way here. This long antenna, I don't really like these long antennas anymore. Okay, and there's the body. how the car just comes right out looks like it's all ready to go I'm gonna go over everything make sure it's tight make sure there's oil in the shocks Let's see how they look yeah, just a little soft Let's see how this one feels this one feels a little better usually these ready to runs especially when they're cheap I paid uh, two 49 for this because I had a $20 discount at tower and free shipping. So that was pretty good for a brushless. It's better than getting a Trax's uh, Rustler BXL. But let's see if it's this fun. Oh, that's pretty good. Very stiff in the rear. So it feels softer up front. This one feels a little softer. So all in all, not too bad. Okay. Anyway, so that's how it comes. Now we'll look and see what we got inside the box. I'm going to pull this back here a little bit so you can see in there. Okay. Let's see. So we'll pull this out. What do we got? We got tools. Extra... Uh, you know, generic tools, a couple extra pieces, not much. It's not going to be too hard to understand. It won't be too confusing. It's got a small trigger to put your finger in. It's kind of tight. It's got a DR right here. Some auxiliary. It's got your menu buttons. Oops, sorry, I can't see that. Huh? Menu buttons. Uh, so it looks pretty cool. Steering trim, throttle trim. Uh, let's see how many batteries does it take. It takes eight batteries instead of four. That's kind of a bummer. It's all right. Little antenna. Cougar. Huh. So there's the radio. And what you get in the package is some extra decals. Something about the ripper motor, the wire. So, there you guys have it. There's the unboxing of the Thunder Tiger Sparrowhawk. Thunder Tiger Sparrowhawk XT, there it is. And that's what you get in the package. There you go, that's what you get in the package right there.